All right, guys, I know you haven't seen Rose for a while. She just called me, she's having an issue. So I figured I'd make a video so you get to see her. And we'll also see what the problem is that she has. Hopefully I can fix it for her. Hello. Hello. It's a nice outfit you have on. Thank you, how are you? Good. What's the problem? Uh, I got a leak under the sink. When did you I find this? It the other day. All right. And uh, you have a flashlight? Uh, yeah. Where Let me see. Well, I got one here. Which side, right or the left? This side here. I see a problem already. Yeah, oh, this boy. leaking. You see that ring hanging? Yes. That's from the basket strainer. This is your basket strainer up here. Okay. And you can see right here. It's cracked right where oh, you would grab it with the wrench. I see that now. So it could be you know, a defect from day one. It just grew over time, or it could be corrosion that caused it. You could probably find a new ring to go on there. If I can, we'll just put the new ring on. Mm -hmm. But if I can't get the ring, the basket strainers are only like 10 bucks. Just gotta disconnect this PVC right here. I gotta pick up some plumber's putty if I do change out the basket strainer. Oh, okay. All right? All right. So it's not a major issue. So when do you think you can do it? Well, I have a little bit of time right now. I'm not busy filming like the other day. And always something going on around the house, but I can do for you right now. Okay. All right, Rose couldn't go. She had to take care of the animals, so I ran to the store and got everything. We should be pretty good to go now. All right, I got everything. Well, I went to the hardware store first, and of course, when you try and do something faster, yeah. you end up getting shafted. Oh. So they didn't have what I needed. Then I went to a big home improvement store. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I finally got what I needed. I thought you got lost. <laughs> got everything right here. Oh, I cleaned out under here. Perfect. Let me see. Is that enough or you need Oh, more? yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's good? Uh, you know what? Move this over a little bit. Which good. way? The tray, move it maybe all the way to the left because I'm gonna have to work in the sink there. Yeah, it's perfect like that. Yeah, here's the basket strainer I got. You can see it in there. Oh, is this it? Yeah, take a look. Oh, wow. Just like this. Yeah, well, it's much, well, actually, they wanted, I think, $6 at the hardware store, seven, just for the, for the no. nut. So I ended up buying the whole thing. I figured, why just buy the nut when I could buy the whole thing for 10 bucks? So you got a brand new stainless strainer. Oh, for heaven's sakes, it's got the ring? Yeah, it's all there. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, and the plumber's putty's in the bag, so we're all ready to go. Oh, wow. How much am I gonna owe you? Nothing, zero. Oh, look at this, I like this. Yeah, it's my wrench I brought from the house. That's cool. You'll see how that works. First thing I wanna do is loosen the nut on the trap. Not a big deal. That was easy. Yeah, it's nothing to do. Mm, that's kinda tight. Hopefully none of these break because I'll have to run out to the hardware store again. Oh no. <laughs> to get another slip nut. No. Or a washer to go in there. Alright, what's going on here? What is this? Oh, there's silicone here. You see this? Yeah. Alright, that indicates that this was leaking before. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll put it together. If it leaks, I'll wrap everything in Teflon around the slip washer that goes in there and then I'll tighten it down. Okay. That looks good. You want to clean all this nastiness off? <laughs> um, do I have to? Yep. It's disgusting. Can I take it outside and hose it? Yeah, go hose it out and I'll keep working on this. Okay. Okay, while she's doing that, let's take off this one on top. And you can see the whole thing is spinning. All right. You want to make sure that this piece of plastic on the end here, shaped like that, is not cracked. If it's cracked, you're definitely going to want to replace it. They're very inexpensive. Push this off to the side, have her clean this as well. Pull this off. Okay, that's out. Yeah, that looks good. Everything's nice and clean. Plastic washer in here is good. Yeah, there was a bunch of silicone put there. You found silicone on it, right? Yeah, all right. Yeah. 
put this off to the side. We just gotta clean this, wipe this out, and just maybe just take like a scrubber. So let's take a look underneath. Clean under here. Pretty clean. Now let's get the new strainer ready. So this is the new strainer. We don't need that in there right now. Here's the back side of it. Take the nut off. And of course, they include another washer. We're going to be using it. I'm gonna take off this nut. It's a fine thread. So it takes a while to remove it. This lets the nut turn very smoothly because if you turned it against this piece of rubber, it would bind up. This is gonna go on the underside of the sink. So on this side, I'm going to have to take the plumber's putty and put a nice thin bead. Let me show you how to do that. You don't need much, okay? And you're gonna roll it. Make a nice even bead. I'm going to take this and just very carefully wrap it all the way around. Okay, see that? Just gently just go over it. All right, so now I'm going to put this back into the sink. I just drop this right in. Push down, and it's going to gush out in a uniform bead all the way around, which you're going to see in a minute. Just push down on it. Looks pretty good. A little higher here. Now I'm gonna go underneath, and Rose is gonna gently push down as I secure the basket to the sink. I'm going to take this right here. You don't want any big blobs sticking out. There's plenty on the top side. Push down gently and hold it. And now I'm going to put this over here. Now let me take a look at the top, make sure it's still centered. Centered? Yeah. That looks good, hold it. Now I'm going to tighten it using this special tool, a couple of different tools you can use, but this one works very well. The point hooks on these tabs and allows you to rotate this. I'm gonna reach inside with the pliers, just like this. That's gonna let me stop it from trying to turn. And as I'm doing this, the plumber's putty is gonna be gushing out of the top. Keep going, it doesn't have to be super tight, but you want it tight enough that the basket strainer assembly does not move. Okay, just take a toothpick, clear away the excess putty, then we'll wipe it with the paper towel at the end. Let's use the wider side first. Pretty well centered too. Sometimes it'll move around when you go to put it in. You can always grab this and pull really hard to get it exactly in the center, and it'll slide just a little bit. Go underneath and put the drain back. Now I got Rose cleaning the inside of the pipe. It's absolutely disgusting. And it stinks. Well, how many years has it been there? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, there's globs in there. <laughs> globs. Oh, it's in my nails. <laughs> Oh my God, Doug. Oh, I can't believe you let me do this. <laughs> hey, it's your sink. It's oh your gook from 40 years of gook. Oh, it's gross. It's disgusting. Look at this crap. <laughs> Ready? Look. I know. Try these. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks like you're doing a colonoscopy. It looks like poopy. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe you let me do this. Why not? Yeah, I gotta learn that. This is gross. You think I'm cleaning your 40 years of gook? Oh my God. When's it gonna stop? It's not. You gotta pour hot water down there. One more. I think it'll be clean. I can't believe I'm doing this. 
I'm learning. Just that. think of it as if you're in the bathroom. I'm learning. It's no different. Oh my god. <laughs> this is <laughs> All right, Rose did a wonderful job. So now what I need to do is put this piece back on over here. It has a brand new washer. This side has the washer that you can see, it's beveled. I don't think it's going to leak. We'll find out. I'm going to just tighten that up. I'm not going to make it super tight yet. I want to put this piece back over here. Here you can see whoever did the job before there was a leak. They put a whole bunch of plumber's putty around that plastic washer. I'm going to slide this back in. Tighten this. You want to have this on a little bit of an angle. Make this nice and tight. Looks good. Tighten this. And you want to do these at the same time like that. I wouldn't get too carried away over tightening these because you could crack one of these. It doesn't happen often, but it can. What I'm going to do now is put the stopper inside here, fill up the sink, and allow all the water to drain out, and then we're going to wait about 15 minutes to make sure there's no leaks. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's let the water out of the sink and see how it is. Hopefully it's good. If it isn't, we'll have to tighten a few things up. Okay, there's a little drip right there at the top and everything else everything else looks pretty good so I just got to tighten down that nut in the event that you tighten it down and it still leaks let me show you what you can do there's two things that you can do wipe this clean reach in and make sure there's no gook or anything else you're going to take some Teflon tape and you're going to wrap it very tightly over these threads and you're going to make sure it hangs over to this side of the pipe. And when you do that, the plastic ring here is going to push on the Teflon tape, forcing it into that space, and it's going to make a much better seal. You want to pull it nice and tight. You have to get it going first, like this. Okay, now you can pull it tight. You can see the edge of the tape is overlapping the pipe, and what's going to happen when you slide the nut over with the washer it's going to press that washer in between the two pipes and it's going to fit right in between that Teflon. So you want to go maybe two passes. Like that. And now you're good to go. Look at how nice that looks. Slide this over. Now there should not be any leak when I tighten this down. Okay, let's try one more time. Nothing. And that's what you have to do. Unfortunately, these could be a big problem when you go to seal them. You can also take silicone sealant if it's really problematic. Make sure it's dry with a paper towel. Reach in, press the silicone all the way between the nut and the pipe, go all the way around, and let it set overnight. It will not leak after doing that. And Rose, you are back in action. I'm gonna send you a bill in the mail. It's gonna be about 310. 200 for me, 100 for gas, and 10 for parts, all right? How's it feel to get ripped off? I'm ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. She's uh, back in action. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again.